All right, this is a quick stream to get people to stop ruining people's chances for data. This I see all the time and it's unacceptable. You've got to stop this. If you have ever reflowed a PMIC on an iPhone 6S or an iPhone 7, you are killing the board. Stop doing it. This is an iPhone 7 Plus that I have supposed to be home now. I have have come here to work on this because it's incredibly important to this guy to get the data off of this phone for a court case. My employee Christine left her family to come in here today to deliver this phone just so that I could get my eyes on it today. It has already been to two other cell phone repair shops and I want to show you what I see when I look at this board. Stop ruining people's chances at data recovery. Stop wasting the time of shops that do know what they're doing. If you are one of the folks that just think, you know, hey, can't hurt, you're wrong. You can kill the board and I want you to stop doing it. This is a, you can see the iPhone 7 Plus here had water damage. Water damage is a fantastic problem to solve. Water damage phones are almost always recoverable. It's a very, very solvable problem. We can see that there was water down here in the bottom of the phone. That's a fantastic problem. It should be an easy recovery. We can see that there's some water on the back of the screen. The problem was not one of the hard to solve error 4013, a software update or a drop. This was water damage. Water leaves traces. You can see what's going on with the board. Water damage is repairable. If you don't know what you're doing, then send it to somebody who does rather than ruin someone's life, making them you know, not able to prove their case in court. This just is, this is beyond unacceptable and, and you guys have to stop. All right, so we're gonna look at this board and see if you can figure out what the problem was originally. Looking at the board, this board has arrived to me with shields already off, never a good sign. But if we look around, we can see here at the very bottom of the phone, it's an obvious problem. Down here at the bottom, there is heavy corrosion. This is a fantastic problem to solve. This is an easy recovery because we have very, very focal damage and it's only down here in the bottom of the phone and down here there's you know, easy to repair stuff like image and backlight that are, that are going on. None of this should be a big deal. This is not a deal breaker. Heavy, heavy corrosion in an area for image and backlight, easy problem to solve, fantastic. Let's look at these caps. These caps are absolutely atrocious looking. So right off the bat, before we do anything else, before we subject the board to any kind of insult, let's just see if we can figure out what the problem is. So this is simple. Get out a multimeter. Test the caps. So we're going to go in diode mode and see, do we get a normal diode mode reading? All right, that can't possibly be normal. This cap is full short. Let's look it up and see what does that mean. We're gonna look that cap up here on ZXW. Look at that, it is the backlight anode line. Look at this, backlight anode line. You don't even need backlight, you could just ignore that completely. You don't even need backlight in order to get their data. You know, if backlight anode line is the only thing wrong, then just ignore it. So before you do anything else, clear the short on the backlight anode line. That wasn't done. This phone just, just was overlooked, the fact that it's going to have a full short on the backlight anode line. And let's see what they did instead of solving the obvious problem that is right in front of their face. All right, let's look around the board and see where else did water go. There's a lot of flux on here, but there's, there was never any water. There is no sign of water under here at all. Bunch of flux, a bunch of, of extraneous non, you know, crap was done for absolutely no good reason when it's a clear, obvious problem staring you right in the face from minute one. None of this had any water. And then looking over here, we can see in the bottom of the board, there was a little bit of water here. The connectors look good, no problem. Everything around here looks okay. 
this would have been a super straightforward data recovery. And apparently it's really, really important to this guy. If we look at the top of the phone, we can see that this water damage indicator is barely even red, which means that up here, we really didn't get any water at all. So looking around for signs of water up here, there's none. There's no water that was up in the top of this phone. You know, even looking around here, there was nothing wrong with this phone on minute one other than a full short on the backlight line. Take off those caps, would have come right back to life, 100%. But instead, look what happened to the board. Let's look at the technician damage. So looking at the Wi-Fi chip, somebody put heat on this. Why? No reason. There was certainly no reason to put heat all over this chip. Look at these solder balls that are just popping out here. This is signs of excess heat. You cannot put heat on an underfilled chip. Heat, heat, heat all around the underfilled Wi-Fi chip. All right, now let's look at the underfilled power management chip. This is intentional heat. Think of how much heat you have to put on this chip directly in order to, to get it to squeeze out solder balls that are, that are this big. That's an extraordinary amount of heat, and it means that everything under there is going to be all bridged together, which means that you are now going to be, if you, if you connect a battery to this board, you are now going to be sending the main voltage into every line, which means it's going to go into the CPU, it's going to go uh, into delicate chips and kill them, because you cannot take a delicate brain-like chip like a CPU and barge in there with VCC main power. It will kill the chip. You need that chip for data. Doing this kills the phone. The idea of, we'll put some heat on it, just reflow it. That's a stupid idea. Stop doing it because it, it wastes everyone's time and it ruins people's lives. There's important data on this phone that is now lost because someone is an idiot. Right, let's keep looking around this board. Let's see. I see that there's been a shit ton of heat or up around by the CPU. We can see these signs, these Mickey Mouse ears. That means that someone intentionally put heat here. Look at all of these solder balls that are squeezed out. That comes from heat. You can't put heat on solder balls that are encapsulated with other substances because what happens when you heat up metal? It expands. And if you have expanding metal and it doesn't have anywhere to go, then it's going to find a weak spot <coughs> and it's gonna to short together to something adjacent that it's not supposed to talk to. You will be making electrical connections. So if we look around here, we can see signs of heat all around heat, heat. We can see heat all around the CPU. And even that doesn't matter because the CPU is already dead. Already dead because of this. This is intentional heat. And it's not everywhere. It is just around the PMIC. Someone has intentionally tried the stupid idiotic idea of reflowing an underfilled PMIC. It is not possible. Reflow is never repair. It's never a good idea. And if you put heat on a chip with underfill, you're an idiot. And you deserve to feel the crushing blame for this family not being able to get the data that they need for a court case. This is your fault. This is franchise repair. Somebody just deciding, what the heck? Don't do it. Stop. If you don't know what you're doing, put the hot air down and send it to somebody who does. This family is, has, is going to have their, their lives ruined. You're wasting my time. You're wasting my employee's time. You're wasting the time of the second shop that looked at it, that at least had the good sense to stop and say, whoa, this is more than we can handle and send it here. Stop wasting everyone's time. Stop ruining lives. Do not put heat on underfilled chips and don't be an idiot and overlook obvious in your face, simple, easy problems that are going to that you just can't uh, can't understand and you're going to do stupid shit instead you should be ashamed of yourself